scientists are increasingly successful at designing robots suitable for work in spaces too dangerous or inaccessible for people. This one was built by researchers at one of the leading robotics engineering schools, Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The snake robot's 16 joints allow it to penetrate narrow winding spaces such as underground pipes or ducts in nuclear plants looking for leaks and damages. The head of the team that designed it, robotics professor Howie Chosset, says there are a lot of places humans cannot get to. Being able to reach them will have an incredible impact on humanity, society. It's just a matter of, of characterizing you know, where are these places you can't reach. After the disaster at Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant, the need for robots that could work in high radiation areas became obvious. The remotely controlled robot Chimp can easily move through a disaster area and has powerful hands that can shut valves and do other manipulative tasks. Anthony Stenz is the director of Carnegie Mellon's National Robotic Engineering Center. My goal is to develop robots that uh, could do work that is dull, dirty, and dangerous. And as far as posing a threat, I really don't uh, think there's anything to worry about. Another group at Carnegie Mellon University is developing a robot to replace humans in more mundane jobs, like running errands down the long corridors of a hospital or office building. In order to teach robots complex tasks, researchers often make them play games. Thanks to a new algorithm, these soccer-playing robots can actively predict the ball's behavior based on the basic laws of physics. Scientists hope that someday equally smart robots will coordinate and cooperate with each other in more serious situations. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.